congratulations. It's June, and you know what June is on Ask Jacqueline. It's wedding month, or should I say gay wedding month. <laughs> People <clears throat> I have sent out there so many things on Facebook to ask me questions, and I can't believe how many questions that I have been bombarded with. So I am sorry if I can't get all of the questions answered, but on today's episode, I took three of some random questions that I had a lot of, but I picked three that were pretty much my favorites. Okay, let's get started. Margaret from Citrus Heights, California asks, If I'm the mother of a gay bride or a groom, what should I expect? Well, you probably, you probably will be playing a supporting role at the gay wedding. On one hand, this is good news because, girl, <laughs> congratulations, you're probably off the hook for picking up the tab. Gay and lesbian couples who marry have usually been together for many, many years, and that means they have the means to foot the bill themselves. <laughs> but this also means you probably won't be included in the inner planning circle, unless you're really close to your son or daughter. You get to be an honored guest, in essence. Show up, show your love, and make a toast. I mean, you can always volunteer to offer to help money-wise, because you know us gays, we could always use the extra cast cash for, you know, flying doves or swimming swans or some other extravagant item or items to showcase in our fabulous wedding. <laughs> so I hope that helped you. Okay, Anne-Marie from Cranston, Rhode Island asked, should the parents offer to pay even if the couple is financially comfortable? Okay, this is what I have to say on that. If it is within your means to buy the flowers or pay for the rehearsal dinner, girl, go ahead. You know, offer that as a, you know, to the groom or bride. I mean, if you're able to. Or you can make a cash gift because they, they will always, always need cash. Treat them as you would your straight kids. But if you, rem if you haven't saved for this wedding, girl, don't sweat it. Like I said before, gay and lesbian couples who marry have usually been together for many, many years, and they have the means to foot the bill themselves. Mark from Oak Ridge, Tennessee asks, what is proper at a straight wedding? Will it be the same as a gay wedding? Oh. As for any wedding, okay, arrive on time or what I should say, no, don't arrive on time. I hate people who are last minute. Um, you need to be there 20 minutes early. You know, if it's a church wedding or a place where, you know, people are going to, you know, be sitting outside or, you know, something, I'm sorry, I got a piece of hair on my face. Um, there's going to be seating, hopefully, if not standing, and it's okay to be early. Okay. Send a gift. Don't bring it with you. It's just, it's just tacky. <laughs> Most people don't even have, don't even do that anymore. They don't, I mean, it's not even, that, that tradition's kind of ended where you bring the wedding present wrapped with you and put it on a, a present table. It's just tacky now. Use the registry if there is one, or you can make a donation if the couple asks for that instead. In many ways, a same-sex wedding will always seem the same as every other wedding that you've been to, except for the fact that it will involve two brides or two grooms, and the cake toppers will be the same sex. <laughs> sure, the food may be better or the flowers are fresher. <laughs> Just kidding. But remember, a wedding is all about the love and commitment between two people, regardless of sexual orientation. Well, I do hope this helps you awesome parents out there, and I want to say thank you and cheers to you for the love and support that you show your children. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Mm. I'll see you next week with some more answers to your gay wedding questions on the next Ask Jacqueline. Bye for now. It's really good champagne.